Hi, thank you so much for stopping by and listening to me talk to you about coaching and what I do as a coach. So for the next couple of minutes, I'm going to talk to you about who I am. I'm going to talk to you about why I coach. I'm going to talk to you about how I coach and I'm going to talk to you about my impact to date. So thank you so much for joining me and let's get straight into it. Hey, welcome back. So my name is Elizabeth Olulari and I, I am a strategic enabler. I work for the Church of England Education Office as the National Education Lead for Racial Justice. I am also the MD of Showers Publisher Kitty's Books, the CEO of Turkles and Styled by Pretty Kitty. I am a facilitator. I am a coach, which is what I'm talking to you about. I have over two decades experience on, in education and education leadership and leadership just on its own. So why do I coach? I coach because I really, really believe in challenging people in a very kind and positive and critical friendly manner. I love to see the best in people. I am that very optimistic person. That's why I have the picture of the umbrella there. I just have this blessed way of being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, to be able to see the diamond in the rod, and which is you, you are a diamond. And it is my, my, my privilege to be able to walk alongside you as a critical friend, to be able to raise up that beautiful, colorful um, umbrella in the midst of, oh, where do I go to? I'm here as a facilitator to help you find your way forward, to help you unlock your potential. I'm your personal cheerleader. I remember my um, assistant, the deputy head of my school going, oh my gosh, Elizabeth, you are my cheerleader. That's who I am. I am your cheerleader. I'm going to be championing you and I'm going, yes, you can. Yes, you can. So how do I coach? I use a range of different coaching models and techniques, philosophies and theories. I do that because I discern what you need at that moment by being an active listener. I listen to you very, very actively. And then I decide, I think maybe we should use the, maybe the grow model or the T-grow model or the growth model or the clear model, depending on your goal, depending on the goal we are trying to get together will determine which coaching model I use um, and which learning style I use. So I generally will be trying to get you into that stage of mastery. So I really believe in mastery. So you will probably be starting from a state of unconscious incompetence. So you're not even sure of what you can do. And it is my job as a coach, as a facilitator, as your critical friend, as your cheerleader, to listen attentively and to use innovative questioning. I call it innovative and creative questioning. And that is something I'm highly skilled at, to be able to listen to you and to be able to say question, using questions, critical questions to bring out the best in you. Now, I've done this for a very, very, very long time. And a few of the, should I say flowers in my bouquet, are being able to get people into headship, into deputy headship. Um, I all call myself the coaching mom. So I help young moms and older moms to use coaching technique to build positive relationships with their children and young people. I'm a youth worker, so I also do use um, coaching to coach the youths into spiritual development, academic development. I am passionate about female leadership. So I use coaching as a way to help ladies, females, women to come up with a retirement plan, especially when they are stay at home moms or working moms. That's kind of my superpower. I have to say, how do we get a work life fit? Yes, I did not say balance. I said the word fit. How do we get a work life fit? And how do we get seasons in our work life? So for example, if you've been a stay at home mom and your children are fleeing the nest, how do I help? So I'm skilled at coaching you to help to find your next adventure. And very importantly, I'm completing master's in race decolonization and education. So I coach people in being on everything EDIJ. When I say EDIJ, I mean equity, diversity, inclusion, and justice. And I champion you becoming culturally humble. That is a whole philosophy I talk about. You'll be able to find it on my website in Tackles. Um, I'll probably, you 
should be able to see the QR code that you can that will take you to my website and talk to you about cultural humility. I take people from a journey from being culturally competent to culturally sensitive, and then we finish at being culturally humble and we stay there and we keep working on called being culturally humble as a lady practice. That is all for me. I hope you've been able to find a little bit of a snapshot about me, what I'm about, um, who is coming in front of you um, and who you'll be working with going forward should in case you decide that I am your person and you need me to coach you, to chair lead with you, to be your critical friend and unlock all the great potentials that in you never forget. For such a time like this, this is why you were listening to me right now. This is your time. Get my details, send me a message and let's start that journey. Ciao for now. Bye. Ireo.